Hi, welcome to High Gear Racing. Today we're going to take a look at another job. We're going to take a look at repairing a headset system that's got damaged bearing fittings inside it. The damage in this case is being caused by prolonged use while the headset has not been set up properly or assembled with the correct parts. I would say the root cause of this problem is that the crown race on the fork has overall about 2.5 millimeters of movement around the steerer tube. So this has caused the headset to be over tightened, but at the same time loose. And that has caused a lot of distortion and wear to the carbon surfaces that normally house the bearings in a somewhat fixed position. Obviously in a headset like this, they sit on tapered or angled seats, which is a self-locating system, but that can only do so much. Um, it can't prevent this sort of wear from occurring when the headset's not assembled properly. So as you can see here, the damage, that's to the bottom cup of the headset. And we'll flip this around and take a look at the top part. And as you can see here, the damage to the top is much worse. I'm not sure that all that damage has actually happened from the rider using the bike while the assembly has been incorrect. Some of this actually looks like it has been done by someone either trying to repair it or to do something with it. We can only speculate in this case. So we're gonna repair that. And the way that we're going to do it is we're basically going to form a new surface in there using this tool that we've made for the purpose of the job. So this is sort of like a headset press, but it's a form tool. So Araldite and curing agents like that uh, are unable to adhere to Delrin, which is what this tool is made from. So therefore Delrin makes a perfect form tool. You can force it into a wet filled fitting and this will force the solution into the shape that hosts the bearing and you can make this to whatever tolerance you want and the agent will actually perform shaping of that tolerance. So we'll go through the preparation process first. This is also something that we're going to have to fix, but that will come later in the video. So in these situations, you want to use a particularly coarse sandpaper to rough up this surface because we're not going to use the current surface, but we want the solution to adhere to it as best as possible. So we're going to sand this out and rough it up. And for this job, we're using 40 grit sandpaper. So always use a clean rag and brake clear unit is a good solution to prep any surface that you're going to use Araldite on. Okay, let's do the other side. And there we go. So now we're going to mix up some JB Weld. For this type of job, you actually need quite a serious amount of it. Now 
Now it's very important to mix this stuff evenly so that the um, hardening agent is evenly dispersed through it. So once the solution is ready, we're just going to paste it in quite generously. Because when you're using this solution as a forming agent, you need as much to force its way through the fittings and out to make sure that it is covered every surface evenly. Now we've done this process quite a few times. We've never done it to a headset, but we have fixed a number of Trek bottom bracket bearing systems in their BB92 bottom brackets particularly on mountain bikes, but a few road bikes as well, where people have had the undersized bearing problem, not known, continued to ride it for quite a period of time, and then destroyed the um, concentricity of the fitting. Okay, so now it's time for us to insert the tool. And then we just wipe off any excess. And now we leave it for 24 hours. <laughs>